Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk with you about some general purchase guidelines. Uh, this video is going to be beneficial for those that are looking to purchase a home but may not quite understand or know um, the overall uh, uh, financing process and what it entails. Um, it's now, these days, we're more detailed more than ever um, as far as getting documentation, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, some of these minute changes can make or break a closing in the very end. So we thought it would be best to maybe give you an idea of how this process works so you can be better prepared uh, when it comes time to purchase a home. So uh, there are a lot of steps that are taken um, to prepare yourself for home financing, stuff you can do ahead of time, that kind of thing. Uh, it all can seem very overwhelming at first, but if you pay attention uh, and listen to your real estate agent, your mortgage broker, um, the, and those professionals involved, uh, it will take all of the complexity out of the way. The key here is to listen carefully, um, and I just want to share an analogy with you that I share with my customers every time I meet with them, especially if they're a first-time home buyer. Uh, it's our job to paint a picture so underwriting can have a clear view of why you deserve the amount of money you're asking to be borrowed. Um, it's important to keep the mi this mindset all the way through at, to your closing and maybe even after. So, um, so the first step one should take when looking at homes, or I'm sorry, prior to ever looking at any homes is to talk with a mortgage professional. Um, this is done for many reasons, but mainly to find out where your credit's at and what you can afford. Uh, during the pre-qualification process, a mortgage consultant will review your income and credit to see if there are any potential problems that could arise during the lending process. Some examples of what we're looking for are going to be past derogatory credit, um, income variances, down payment sources, those kinds of things. We also will establish your FICO score and debt to income ratio at this time. This will help us first find out what you qualify for, second what type of loan program is going to be necessary for your overall situation, um, and it's also important to understand that a loan officer or a mortgage consultant, loan originator, any one of these guys, they all do the, basically the same thing. We do not approve and deny loans. We simply represent you just as your buying real estate real estate agent represents you uh, during the negotiation process. So keep that in mind. Um, so anyways, once we are able to pre-qualify you, we will provide you with a letter indicating that you've spoken to us and it appears that you qualify for a mortgage loan. It's important to know that this is not a formal loan approval. This is simply a to be used as a comfort for all parties involved um, if, if on the particular property you're looking at making an offer on. This helps the real estate agent on both the buying and selling side as well as the sellers know that, hey, we can take this offer seriously. Uh, so from there, it's really your job to work with your real estate agent or professional to find out what, um, you know, find a home that you like and start making offers on that. They help you with the negotiation process. So we don't step back into the picture until your offer has been accepted. Uh, at Atlanta Madison, we will meet with you face to face at this point, go over several documents that include a good faith estimate, truth in lending disclosure, uh, as well as many other types of uh, disclosures that are required for us, both state by state and federal. Uh, and then we also will base all of these numbers at this time off of your purchase contract. So it's important to get us a copy of that contract uh, prior to us meeting with you. Um, also what happens at this appointment is we will collect some documentation. Um, we're always going to require you to give us your income information, W-2s, tax returns, uh, as well as uh, the, your um, identification, that kind of thing. But then also additionally we're going to ask for additional documentation depending on each uh, scenario. So everyone's loan is a little bit unique and it's going to be uh, different for every circumstance. So it's important to understand that we may ask for uh, quite a few things. Uh, this portion um, also of, of the process, I'm sorry, is also to kind of make sure that you also understand the terms and conditions of the loan that you're getting into. Uh, and in Atlanta, Madison, it's very, very important for you guys to uh, know what type of program that you are actually going to have to be paying your money back on, what the interest rate uh, does to that loan, that kind of thing. So it's also to be used as an educational part of the process as well. 
Um, this is probably going to be the most important part of your transaction at this point too. Um, so it's kind of going back to remembering when I told you that it's our job to paint a per picture for underwriting. This is the part where you provide us the paints to work with. Uh, the better my documentation to provide, the better your chances of proving your repayment ability, ability to the lender. Once we have your signatures, we all will move forward with the file review. Uh, after, this, after this review is completed, this is when we're going to get an approval. Um, then we'll also be asked to provide any additional conditions or stipulations um, for the loan that are needed prior to closing. Um, this can be additional documentation for income, stuff like that, uh, homeowner's insurance proof, uh, review of the deed and title of the home being purchased, review of the appraisal report, clarification of income or credit items, etc. Uh, once we meet these stipulations, you will, your loan will be quote unquote clear to close uh, and we can then issue a commitment letter to the seller uh, stating that the, you know, the, we can close this property and we can set a closing time and date. Um, so basically it's important to understand that lending is a basic process with complex requirements to each program. Uh, a loan officer's foresight and experience can make all of the difference in getting your loan to the closing table or not. So I also have some additional tips here for you. Um, first thing I would like to mention is during the underwriting process it's important to leave your credit alone. Uh, don't make any new purchases or take on any new debt. This will affect your debt to income ratios and may cause for a denial if your expenses rise too much. Also, a lender will do a second credit pull prior, right before your closing date to make sure nothing has changed. Um, next thing I'd like to share with you is documentation of asset, assets. Uh, this can be uh, a very important factor um, and be prepared to disclose all of your income including the tax returns. Uh, this income is double or triple checked and it's easy to miss a piece of the puzzle uh, if you have comp a complicated return or you're self-employed. Uh, the next thing I'd like to stress here, and this may be the most important one or the most common um, that isn't followed, but listen. Listen to the real estate professionals as well as your mortgage professional or anybody else, your inspectors, anybody that's involved in the process. Um, they're the ones with the most experience in today's challenging market. It, you know, many times we've run into across people that have bought and sold several times. Um, but if you haven't done this in the very recent past, things have changed. I can guarantee that. Um, so don't get obsessed if we ask for something that you didn't need to provide in the past or, um, or something you don't feel needs to be detailed. Um, if you have any questions about any of that stuff, be sure to ask right away. The longer you let things fester, the worse they, uh, um, you know, they can boil down to hurting you in the end. Another thing that I like to talk about is acting fast. Uh, don't waste your time getting inspections done slowly or submitting your debt loan documentation. Uh, keep in mind that we have an ex expiration on all of these and we don't want to have to continually extend because we have a customer that isn't getting us the stuff on time, that kind of thing. Um, you're also going to want to address the seller's concerns in a timely manner in case they have any questions for you that come through the real estate agents, that kind of thing. Um, this can affect per purchase contracts, um, that kind of thing, so you want to do your best to be punctual. Um, lastly, I guess, as I stated before, it's important to ask questions and make sure you bring up any important pertinent information that you feel uh, a loan officer or real estate agent should know. If you feel like a detail could affect you, um, it probably will. So you won't be able to get around to anything these days, so it's best just to be upfront and bring up potential problems directly to us so we can handle them as early as possible um, and figure out a solution for you. Uh, if you wait to the last minute, it could cause denial or, uh, or our leverage in negotiation when working with your real estate agent. Um, so you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot. Uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, you can always call us. Uh, I'm always available to talk to anybody that has questions. So we'll go from there. Thanks again.